I'm Social Fam, happy Friday, and welcome to the video of the day. Today, I want to talk about content being filtered. Welcome back, social fam. NLK3 short for Norman Lloyd Kinsey III. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. The video of the day is designed to entertain, enlighten, put things in perspective, and just remember, I'm a random guy on the internet. So, this is subjective content. Take it for what you will. At the end of the day, I wanna talk about filter content. I wanna talk about how social media has turned into machine learning, which is AI, which means that they monitor every single action, who you follow, who you don't follow, what you like, what you don't like, and they also are listening to our conversations. It's been going on for years. If you have an Alexa or any system that listens or you could talk to them and then give them a task, they listen in because predictive analytics. They wanna analyze and understand predictively what you're gonna to want to buy and they wanna make our lives easier quote unquote, but also they want to be able to understand what's our triggers from things that we like, from things that we don't like. So they can also give us things that we would want to watch, whether it's a TV show or whatever the case may be. Now, this is where filtered content come in. Now, would you think, yes or no, that they could filter your content if they know exactly what you like and what you don't like, they're listening into your conversations, they're looking at what you're watching and so on and so forth. What do you think? Because check this out. If you're on Instagram, you go to your Explore page, look at what's there on your Explore page. It's all the stuff that Instagram thinks that you like and it comes up on your Explore page. So, um, pandemic, uh, Black Lives Matters, um, what do you think they're gonna be able to do with that? You think they're gonna show you things that you wanna see, you don't wanna see? Or do you think they're gonna try to trigger you? I mean, I don't wanna be conspiracy here and I wanna scare you here. But if this was possible, Remind you, I'm just some guy on the internet, and they can filter your content, and they know what you want, what you don't like, and what triggers you. Don't you think that they could show you content that would trigger you more so, even if you weren't racist? Even if you were like, what the heck? Like, I'm not racist. This is ridiculous. Like, I, I, I'm married to a black person, right? Or I have, you know, African American friends, right? But next thing you know, you find yourself on the streets, you find yourself protesting, you find yourself loading, because next thing you know, you're like, why am I loading? Why am I picking up this brick? Why am I participating in this? Because it ties into influence. So just take that in consideration because I put a lot of content out there and the content I put out there, especially on Facebook, gets filtered. If you go to my Facebook personal page, look at the videos that are posted, scroll down, not one single like, not one single comment because they don't want content going from one platform to the next. So something to take in consideration. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Just want to give you a different perspective. Wish you all massive success. Like, follow, subscribe, comment below. Share the video if you think you should. Share it with someone you know and make it a fantastic day.